Hi guys, welcome to howmachineworks.com. Today we will learn how a stop solenoid and an ignition key works. So that's a stop solenoid over there. This shaft has been protruded outside. That's the normal condition of the stop solenoid. And it has an electromagnet inside. When you give power to that lead at the rear, the 12 volt power as you on the ignition key, it, the electromagnet energizes and it attracts that particular shaft to move inside. So the movement of this shaft actually controls the fuel injection pump to adjust the flow of the fuel. The fuel is cut off or allowed to flow as per the movement of this shaft. So you can see when I'm giving the power, it energizes, the electromagnet energizes and the shaft is getting attracted and it moves inside and as I release it, the shaft moves outside. So that's how simply a stop solenoid works and we'll go into the theoretical part of it and get to understand more of it. So that's how it reacts. As you have seen how uh, practically a stop solenoid works, now let's go towards the theory. So this is the stop solenoid that you have seen. So it has the shaft which you have seen which is going outside and moving inside. Then it has an electromagnet inside which is this one. Then it has the spring. So the function of the stop solenoid is to stop or start the vehicle with the help of the ignition key. When you turn the ignition key, this particular shaft moves inside because when you turn the ignition key, the 12 volt reaches the electron magnet over here and this becomes a magnet which attracts this particular shaft and resulting in this shaft to move inside by pressing the spring. So its normal position is like the spring actually tends to push the stop solenoid outside closing the fuel port. So now, normally when you off the vehicle, when you turn the ignition key, the power, the 12 volt gets cut off. And as a result of that, this electromagnet, the energy of the electromagnet releases. So this spring will push this shaft outside. So when this shaft is pushed outside, the fuel supply inside the fuel injection pump is disconnected or it is cut. So there is no fuel to the engine. The engine will not work. So the vehicle is in off condition. And when you on the ignition key, this power reaches the electromagnet and it attracts this shaft resulting this shaft to move inside by compressing this spring and as a result of that the fuel line is on right now this shaft goes back and this fuel line is open over here the fuel line opens up and the fuel goes into the engine and as a result of that the engine works so that's how simply a stop solenoid works so let's now go again and see how it actually works when the power is given in and the power is released so the movement of this shaft which actually cuts and opens up the fuel flow inside the fuel injection pump it results in the starting and stopping of the vehicle. Okay. This is exactly controlled by the stop solenoid and the ignition key which actually gives the power from the battery to the stop solenoid. Let's see it again. When the power is given in, the shaft is going inside and the power is released, the shaft is going outside. The same as the ignition key is on and off. So that's simply how it reacts. So I believe you understand the working of stop solenoid and how an ignition key actually works. Please click the subscribe button for getting more technical video updates. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate us. You can visit our website or our YouTube channel for more videos. More details are given in the description below. So just have a look at that also.